For the first time ever, Australian researchers have successfully made male mice temporarily infertile. And male humans, you may be next. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. Exciting news for male birth control enthusiasts this week. Scientists have finally figured out the key ingredients for a safe, effective male birth control pill. So here's how it works. Sperm are made in the testes, AKA your balls. Before the sperm are ejaculated out through the urethra, they have to first pass through a tightly coiled tube called the epididymis. The epididymis is where the magic happens. It's where the sperm get their wings to fly or their tails to swim. When the sperm pass through the epididymis, their otherwise immobile tails are turned on by two key proteins that hang out in there. So what the scientists have managed to do with the mice is to block the receptors for those proteins, making it impossible for the sperm to swim and rendering them temporarily infertile. Now before this study, they had managed to block one of the proteins, which did reduce fertility by about 50%, and now they've gone all the way. So this is in mice, the whole mice to human translation is next, and that could always bring about some new problems or unwanted side effects. But what the researchers are hoping to do is translate this into a male birth control pill, which when you take it, blocks the same proteins. And it's looking promising. The method has had no adverse effects on the mice. They don't lose their sex drive or their fertility in the long run. They're still getting jiggy, looking healthy. Everything is functioning normally. They just can't get any female mice pregnant while they're affected. And as an added bonus, this is a non-hormonal method, so it's not gonna mess with your testosterone. You may already know that the female birth control pill and most other female birth control methods actually are hormonal. And since women already have a pretty complicated hormonal cycle that varies by person, hormonal methods can bring about a whole host of physical and emotional side effects for some users. In the male pill, this wouldn't happen because it just targets a specific physical mechanism, the mobility of the sperm's tail. So like I mentioned in one of my recent videos about condoms of the future, it's sort of odd to me how little we've done to advance birth control that's safe and effective for men. The female body has so much going on with uteruses and ovaries and the whole shebang. It's all so much more complicated. So answering the birth control question for men would presumably be much simpler, right? You'd think, but the question of how to stop millions of sperm at once without doing permanent damage has stumped a lot of scientists, understandably. So folks, what do you think about the male pill? They predict it's gonna be ready within 10-ish years. Assuming it was safe and effective, would you use it? Would you want your partner to use it? I'll be reading your thoughts down below or on our DNews Facebook page. And if you're interested in male birth control, you should also check out Anthony's video on a fascinating birth control gel which is being studied in India. I'll put the link right over here and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.